welcome dear students again for the next lecture in the topic inner transition unit in the previous lecture we have seen the electronic configuration and based upon that the magnetic properties of the lanthanide in today's lecture we are going to study the next important property of the lanthanide and that is the lanthanide contraction at the same time we have to study the consequences of the lanthanide contraction on the properties of the lanthanide let us start the next property the lanthanide contraction now tell me students if take any group of a group one support like the heart group with the folio or if you take the any p block element the boron aluminum gallium indium then what is the planet train in the properties in case of the atomic sides and ionic sides in any group so in any t group we can take in the periodic table the atomic side will be increased from top to the bottom in any p block or the s block elements or d block elements then why this one side increases This is because there is the introduction of the new shell taking place. This is a common product. On the other hand, if you take the any period, suppose you have the second period of taking up of lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, and neon for. Then what is the periodic train in any period of the periodic table regarding the atomic sides? The atomic sides and the ionic sides of these elements will be decreases in any period. Why? Because as the atomic number increases, there is the introduction of the including the nuclear charge the nuclear charge will be increases here in any period of this periodic table and that's why atomic as well as ionic side will be decreased now if you take the study of our lanthanide here in lanthanide based on mid group the lanthanides are placed in group third as there is a no space to accommodate all the protein electrons they are arranged below the main body of the periodic table otherwise in the expansion of the periodic table they can be taking place and they can lose the symmetry of the periodic table so in case of the lanthanides as the atomic number increases from the lanthanum 27 to the lutetium 71 Then, what is the? There will be the additional electrons which are there. The additional electrons came into the same four F sub level. Now, due to the shielding of these electrons, the inner electrons with respect to all the electrons. From lanthanum to lutetium, the shielding is imperfect. We can say so. Shielding can be get decreases in the order of the F, P, D, and M. So as the atomic number increases from lanthanum to lutetium, the nuclear charge will get increases. 
with each increase in the nuclear charge, additional electron can go to the 4F sub level instead of going to the 5th and the 6th level. Due to shape of the orbitals, the F orbital, P orbital, D orbital, F orbital, all of you know, the shielding effect is it decreases from F to the F orbitals. So due to this what happens, the nuclear charge which can be exist on this valence electron can be get increased. As the nuclear charge on this valence electron it increases because of this the shielding factor, the effective nuclear charge, the effective nuclear charge is also increases from lanthanum to the lutetium. So what is the effective nuclear charge? Effective nuclear charge Z star suppose equal to actual nuclear charge. Actual nuclear charge minus shielding factor or shielding constant. So Z star is equal to Z minus EF. That is the effective nuclear charge. Due to the shape of the orbital, the electron shielding is imperfect. So this is the nucleus of all. This is the first orbital here, this is the P orbital, this is the D orbital, this is the electron, or F electron. Then this F orbital electron orbital is very far away from the nucleus. And that's why they are less tightly bound. F orbital is very close to the nucleus, it's tightly bound. That's why the shielding constant or shielding effect is more in case of the EF orbital. The shielding effect is very less pronounced in case of the EF orbital as they are loosely held electrons of course. And that's why due to this, the shielding constant value becomes the less and that's why the effective nucleus charge will be increases in case of the actual nuclear charge. So due to this what happened, there will be a state and the effective nuclear charge exists on the valence electron for increases here. Then the atomic and the ionic size can be get decreases daily from lanthanum to the lutetium, tripodilanthanum to the lutetium isotopes. So this value is found to be 1.06 and strong and it is 0.861 angstrom and it is 1.69 angstrom is the ionic is the atomic radius here to the 1.56 angstrom so atomic size will decrease from lanthanum to lutetium by margin of the 0.13 while in case of the ionic radius is confirmed, the ionic radius decreases from 1.06 m to the 0.861 m strong lutetium. So nearly the margin is about the 0.2 m So this is the steady recovery. So if you draw the figures of this, so Tripodi lanthanum, then lanthanum, then cerium, then prasodanium, then the neodymium, then prometheum, then samarium, europium, gadolinium, erbium, dysprosium, palmium. So ionic radius it decreases here from the 1.06 angstrom to the 0.861 in lutetium. 
So for this is the 1.06, here it will be the 1.02, here it will be the 0.99. This is the 0.98. Here the point ninety seven, the point nine five eight, zero at the point nine four, near the point nine three five, nine one two, nine nine zero one, point eight nine zero, point eight eight zero, point eight seven zero, the same. So this is the situation. So the decrease in the ionic radius from the one lanthanide to other lanthanide is really marginal here. If you at in the M strong unit, the point not four or not point not not one, point not to one M strong here, point not three M strong here. But the overall, when it takes the nanometer for concern, the nanometer we can write this figure as a zero point one zero six, zero point one zero two, zero point zero nine nine, like that. Zero point not at six in the nanometer. So overall decrease here is of the atomic size here. Ionic size is one point zero six two point eight six one m strong. That is point how much? One point zero six two zero point eight six one. So nine three. So one point zero six two eight six that is a point twenty and was coming here point not two nanometer. Right? One point zero six minus zero point eight six nine. So point one nine nine M strong here, and if you calculate this in terms of the nanometer, this will be found to be point one zero six minus point zero eight six one. It is about the point not two nanometer. So fluctuation reduction in the five taking place from the tri-body lanthanides is very small. But the total decrease is there. The total decrease is quite significant, amounting to 0.2 or most we can say the 0.2 m strong or 0.02 nanometer. So this steady decrease in the atomic and the ionic size of the lanthanide to increase in the atomic number of the lanthanide is called as the Lanthanide contraction or contraction in the five taking place. So, lanthanide contraction is there, and if you plot the graph of this lanthanide contraction, the atomic number here again, the number of the electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, number of electrons are the 1. Electron 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And here this value is about 0.74, 0.76, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 
Then you have the serial number one point zero two something. You will be there. Likewise, Samaria will be the point nine here something to there. So one zero one two three four five. Zero one two three four five Samarian point nine something to there. Then you have the palmium, erbium. So zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Number ten here point eight eight something to there. Likewise, there is a small slight variation in the atomic dispersion. And if you plot the graph here, the graph is like this. So, atomic and ionic value is there. Depends the fluid is from lanthanum tripartite to deuterium tripartite here. So this is the region here which you can get the yttrium, and if the yttrium is focused. This is the region where the samaria will be in the area. This is the region where the thulium will be there. Thulium plus all the samarium two plus samarium and the yttrium will be there. So there is a steady decrease is there in the ionic phase from the length of rotation. And this is called the lanthanide contraction. So all of you got what is the lanthanum contraction? The slight steady decrease in the amplified form prior to lanthanide to rotation. Now we are going to study the next part. That is, what are the consequences of the lanthanide contraction? And the effect of that on the property of the lanthanide. The next part is effects of the lanthanide contraction. So effects of the lanthanide contraction, that is, we can say the consequences of lanthanide contraction. So lanthanide contraction have the major effect on the properties of the pre-lanthanide and the post-lanthanide elements. The first effect is the decrease in the basicity. Decrease in the basicity. Now, generally, if you take the any group of the trial table, then what is the nature of the basic nature of the property? The basicity is the generally increases from top to bottom in trial table. What is meant by, by the basicity? Basicity is nothing but it is the measure of the ease of the ability of this atom for the ion to lose the electron. That is called the basicity. So in case of the any group, the basicity is increases from top to the bottom. Suppose if you take the group, suppose second element, I suppose you have the beryllium, then you have the magnesium, beryllium, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, group two element, calcium, then strontium. And then radium. So if you take any group of the element per table, so for group two, and these elements so for form the hydroxide suppose. So then at the trial train, beryllium hydroxide should be the least basic because basically increases from top to bottom. And the radium hydroxide which is formed and for the most basic. That is the normal train in the trial table. But what happens here in case of the lanthanide, as the lanthanum contraction occurs from the trap of the lanthanum to trap of the lutetium here, then basicity of the hydroxide can be get decreased. So first element is the lanthanum, then cerium. And last element is the lutetium. 
Now, in case of this uh, triapodyl antenna, all come from the hydroxide. All come from the hydroxide. So, what should be prior train? At the normal train, the anthem hydroxide should be the lift basic hydroxide. And rotation hydroxide should be the most basic hydroxide. The normal train. But what happened here, the situation is the train is totally reversed here. And we found that we observe that the lanthanum hydroxide is not lift basic, it is found to be the most basic hydroxide. And the rotation hydroxide is found to be the lift basic hydroxide. That is why basicity is decreased from the lanthanum to the rotation due to the effect of the lanthanum contraction. Now, due to the decrease in the basicity of this. Uh, Hydroxide, the covalent character between the lanthanum to lutetium is also decreased. So, due to the decrease of covalent character, the size of the cation, and the parents will say that more will be the size of the cation, lift will be the size of the cation, more will be if covalent character. So, between the lanthanum to the lutetium, Lutetium is the less in the ionic size, while lanthanum hydroxylanthanum is the more in size. That is why the current character can be read with the lanthanum to the lutetium. Due to this, what will happen here? The basicity of this hydroxyl will get decreased. The current character is from the lanthanum to lutetium because size of the lanthanum lutetium is less here. Therefore, coherent character will be more in lutetium. That's why basicity will be more in case of the lanthanum and lutetium. So, this fact can affect the certain properties of the lanthanide, such as number one, the solubility of the salt. Then thermal decomposition of oxy salt and ability to form complexes. So trend can be get reverse here in this case. Solubility of this part, thermal decomposition of the oxy salts and ability to form complexes can be decreased because of this lanthanoid contraction. So, solubility of the salt is used to separate this lanthanide salt by means of the crystallization. While the decrease in the thermal ability, thermal decomposition of oxy salt can be used for separation of the lanthanides. So, ability to form, form the complex shape is there in this case of the factor. So, this is the first effect consequence we can say in case of the lanthanides that. We to decrease the basicity of the complex safe so, hydroxide. The first one that decrease in the size of the cation increases the coin characters, and that's why this reduces the basic dependency here. The second property is variation in the properties. Second effect variation in the properties of lanthanides. Now, just we have seen the lanthanum contraction, the atomic phase or ionic phase will be get decreased. The difference in the ionic phase 
from one lanthanide to the other lanthanide is very small, but total difference is quite significant around 0.2 angstrom. Therefore, the properties which are depend upon the ionic sites. So, there will be the variation is marginal here in ionic sites, but the properties which are depend upon this ionic size have very small variation in the properties. The difference in the ionic size is somewhat large extent. There is very small variation in the property of the lanthanide. That is why all the lanthanides have almost the same chemical properties. Because of this factor, that variation in the property is very small. Chemical, chemical reactivity is almost the similar, they are analogous. So due to this, what happens? All the lanthanides have difficulty in separation. The separation of the lanthanide is a difficult task for the scientist or the researchers here. If you are given the mixture of a Lanthanum, or suppose starting from the cerium 3 plus, samarium 2, 3 plus, silicium 3 plus, right? Or it is the cerium 3 plus, prasodium 3 plus, neodymium 3 plus, suppose. These are very close lanthanides. Then that not much it, the difference is there in the ionic side of the lanthanides here. And that's why these remains of the same chemical activity. But how they can separate from each other? So that is a difficult task for the separation. So the lanthanide, the second effect of the lanthanum contraction, <coughs> that lanthanide have the variation of the properties is somewhat less because marginal differences are there in the ionic sites property is also not much different because of the factor. Now next factor is the third property is variation in the properties of yttrium and length. So variation in the properties of the yttrium and the lanthanides. Now, in previous lecture I have told that lanthanum to lutetium, cerium to lutetium, these are the two aspects for there that how much lanthanum we have to take actually. Someone taking the cerium plutetium, the other protein lanthanide, someone taking lanthanum plutetium, the other protein element of the lanthanide. We are trace all syllabus that we can going to take the lanthanide cerium plutetium and then we can discuss the properties in simultaneously with the lanthanum. But in addition to that, some can add in the yttrium also to this lanthanide. Some can add in the scandium also the lanthanides. And that's why the term is now not become the start at start they are called as a rare element because we can but now we call the lanthanide. So this is the fact that variation in the property of lanthanide. Just to have seen the graph that polymium and the ergium region. Polymium 3 or there and ergium 3 or there. The atomic radius, ionic radius is the 0.89 angstrom, that is the 0.089 nanometers and to 0.88 angstrom. 0.088 nanometers. So, because the lanthanum contraction, the effect is that the ionic size of the holmium region, holmium is the 0.89 and ergium is the 0.88 about the same year. So, this ionic radius can reach by the yttrium 
ट्रायल पॉजिटिव व्हिच इज 0.88 एम स्ट्रांग एंड 0.88 नैनो सो बिकॉज़ द लैंथरम कॉन्ट्रैक्शन इफेक्ट इज देयर द साइज ऑफ द ट्रायल पॉजिटिव विट्रियम इज रीच इन द होलमियम एल्बियम रीच This is one of the consequences of the lanthanum contraction. So, due to this factor, now generally the five which can depend upon three factors. The properties of the ions generally depend upon the three factor. One is the size, second is the charge, and third is the magnitude of the charge. So, on these three factor properties of an ion depend. So here size is almost the same, charge is also same, and the magnitude of the charge is also the same, and both have the same atomic and the ionic size. So when the size of the yttrium is coupled with the size and the charge of the lanthanides here. Then it found to be the invariable occurrence of the lanthanide. What is by the invariable occurrence? We can say yttrium is not different from the lanthanide because the same physical, same atomic size and ionic size and the charge. So due to this lanthanide contraction. Yttrium, the first effect is that yttrium. Is invariable occurrence. Invariably occurrence in the lanthanide. Difficulty in the separation of lanthanide and yttrium. So because of the similar size and the similar charge. There is the difficulty is found in the separation of the lanthanide. If you take the mixture of the yttrium three plus, and then suppose holmium three plus, and the albumin three plus suppose, then you want to separate the yttrium from these two lanthanides. Then it is observed that the very difficulty is there in separation of the lanthanide from the yttrium. This pair. It's a second impact, and that's why. Why this happened? Difficulty separation. We can say here that there will be similarity. Similarity in the properties of yttrium and lanthanide. The similarity in the property in the yttrium and the lanthanide. That's why yttrium is called as a Invariably occurred with the other lanthanide because it causes the difficulty in the separation of the lanthanide, and that is why yttrium becomes a practical member, you can say, of lanthanide series. So, because the lanthanide contraction, the yttrium becomes a Practical member of the lanthanide series. This is the second, third effect. So we are seeing the basicity decreases. Decrease in the basicity is the first factor of the lanthanide contraction. Second impact is that there will be the variation in the properties of the lanthanide because of lanthanide contraction. And third is the similarity in the properties of the Yttrium and the lanthanide. Now, both the impact. We are going to study the similarity. Similarity in the properties of zirconium and hafnium. Due to lanthanum contraction, there is a variation in the properties taking place, but at the same time, lanthanum contraction has a significant effect on the properties of the zirconium and the hafnium. Now, if you go to any periodic table here, 
if you observe that in any periodic table, in any group, suppose in a group 3, if you take a group 3, the element, first element will be the scandium with atomic number 22. The first transition element, scandium. Then you have the SC, TI, B, radium, chromium, and manganese. The five element can take for the consideration. After that, we have the scandium. After that, we have the lanthanum. It's 57. And then we have the yttrium. We will be yttrium, 39. And then we have the lanthanum. Now, if we take the ionic size of the triparty lanthanide, now see group 3, these are the group 4 element, group 5 element, group 6 element, group 7 element. The charge of the scandium is 3 plus, titanium is 3 plus, vanadium 3 plus, chromium 3 plus, manganese 3 plus. So possible? No. Because as the ionified increases from left to the right in a plate, the nuclear charge will be increases here. That's why scandium has a 3 plus charge, so titanium has a 4 plus, vanadium has a 5 plus, chromium has a 6 plus, magnesium has a 7 plus. So ionic side of the scandium is 0.68 m strong. Yttrium has 0.88 m strong. And lanthanum has the 1.06 m is ionified. Now here are the elements for the titanium zirconium, half me. These are the four plus charge. Vanadium, you have the niobium and then tantalum, five plus charge. Chromium, molybdenum and then tungsten for the six plus charge. Manganese, technetium and then you have the rhenium as a seven plus charge. So this is the first transient series, 21, other number 22, 23, 24, 25. And the pre-MNR from the limit further right. Then yttrium 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, like that. 57, near half 72, and term 73, 74, 70. <coughs> like that. Now, in any group, of this periodic table, like in a group 3, group 4, group 5, group 6, group 7, is that atomic and the ionic size should be, must be increased from top to the bottom. That's why same trend we are observing in group 3, scandium, yttrium, and lanthanum. The radius is nearly 0.2 and from more than that, there is also 0.15 and from more than that. So that lanthanum and the scandium, if we take the difference is around how much? 138 Now here, suppose this 13 up to length of 57, this element should be added here. Then the element which coming after this will be the half medium 72 after adding this length of lutetium, which have this radius now suppose the 0.68, we have the 0.64 and 0.59. 0.52 and the other 0.46. Then 0.88 here. So here we have the 0.78, and the 0.79. And here we have 0 0.68, 0 0.58, 0 0.52, 0 0.52, 156. 1.56 and strong like So, if half mu is not coming in this category, this difference between the 0.79 to the 1.06, that 0.27 and strong difference can be exactly wiped out because of the anthem contraction. And due to this, expansion which shall be the contraction taking place in the anthem series is exactly counterbalanced by the expansion which have been taken place in the first and the second transient series here. 
and due to this what happened the atom ionic side of the zirconium which is 0.64 centimeter that become exactly with the half near is around 0.79 so how it happened the contraction taking place in this lanthanide is compared by number x contraction taking place by this uh, zirconium and the half near so due to this there will be the identical ionic area for the zirconium and the half near and that is why these are called as the chemical twins so because of this ionic same ionic size same ionic charge here because they are the same group four here the property are also same that's why they are very difficult to separate like our human beings are very difficult to separate if they are the twins they are the same very difficult to identify them in the same manner zirconium and hafnium are there combined together and it is very difficult to separate from each other because of the same ionic size and the same charge and that is the reason that zirconium and hafnium are called as the chemical twins the same effect happen in a group 5 also niobium and the tantalum which are group 5 which have the ionic size can be resulted because of lanthanum contraction actually lanthanum contraction effect should be the ionic size should be increased from top to the bottom in each group in a group 3 we are observing that the ionic size will be get increased from top to the bottom the same trend should be observed in a group 4 same trend should be observed in a group 5 also same trend observed in a group 6 also similar but same trend is not observed in group 4, 5, 6. The change is reverse here. Zirconium has the ionic size greater than the titanium, no doubt. But the zirconium and hafnium have the same ionic size. That's why they are called the chemical twins. Same trend happened in group 5. Neobium and the tantalum revert the same ionic size, 0.58 amphitron here or 0.068 nanometer. While vanadium has the less size than that. The neobium and the tantalum can have the, the second and the third transition effect to the more here. Like the condition, no effect on the top transition. So, neobium and the tantalum are also called as the chemical twins. So, they are pair that they have the same property and they are difficult to separate. In group 6, again, same trend of observing chromium has a 0.52 diamond size, but molybdenum has a higher size than that. That trend is there. But molybdenum to the tungsten here, the size is same 0.52 diamond from. That's why same ionic size, same ionic charge. Uh, so they have same thing the property, so they are also called the chemical twins. So next pair is the molybdenum and the tungsten, the chemical twins. And then technetium and the rhenium again have the 0.56 and 0.57 strong, while the manganese has the 0.46. So the same trend observed also in the in the factor. So technetium and the rhenium have the chemical twins. So we are similarity in the property zircon and hafnium taking place only because of the contraction effect. But they can show the effect that identical ionic area can be result and that's why they call the chemical twin. So separation of the lanthanum contraction effect can be observed in case of this uh, D and uh, F block F block elements here. So first transient series, in case of the first transient series, the effect is not there, but in second and the third transient series we found that they can have very close similarity in the properties and that is why they are called the chemical twins and that's why they are very difficult to separate. So many times the question can be asked on this part, explain the why this zirconium and hafnium are called the chemical twins or why these are the vernal tungsten are called the chemical twins. I like to understand this part. Now one more, two more effects are there in the lanthanum contraction and that we can see in a next lecture. So what are the lanthanum contraction? How it define the term lanthanum contraction and what are its consequences? That is the question can be asked for this particular part. So we can stop here. The remaining two effects can continue in a next lecture. So, by stating, you have to first explain what is the lanthanum contraction. We have to draw the diagram for the lanthanum contraction that sketch that will be the mass, and then we have to study you any text which can easily explain by you 